Hello, welcome to the Source Gaming YouTube channel, and today we'll be discussing if the Ice Climber is going to come back to a theor theoretical Smash for Switch port, uh, enhanced port. Joining me today is Atsi Omni. How's it going? And Nintendo. Hi, everyone. All right, so um, during Smash for Wii U and 3DS development, Sakurai came out with a quote saying that he did try to make the Ice Climbers work in the game, but because of the limitations of the 3DS, he couldn't get them to work no matter how hard he tried. Um, so he even tried removing the joints and uh, removing gravity even, but they just wouldn't work. So do you think that if there was an enhanced port for the Switch console, do you think that the Ice Climbers would come back? Uh, Nintendo, do you want to start? Uh, yeah, sure. So. Um... I think he's certainly going to try again. I think, um, to be honest, it really comes down to if they're going to work in eight-player Smash this time around. Because there's no no doubt if they got it working on the Wii U, then they, it will work on the Switch, regardless of whether it's portable or like at home. It's going to be working. So the real thing comes down to can you have 16 different AIs all running and uh, CPUs and all the stuff like that going at once? because obviously Ice Climbers takes up two each. Yep. And if that's something that they can't um, do, then I do question whether or not, because I don't think they're going to be removing 8-player Smash. I think it's too big of a feature. It's too popular of a feature. I think the Ice Climbers are more likely to go than them removing 8-player Smash. But that, certainly they're going to try, and they're going to try removing the bones like they do with other characters. And they're going to try. May they might even be willing to limit the amount of stages you can use in eight player if it means that getting the ice climbers to work. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Ar Ar Artsy, do you want to go ahead? Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, as far as their desire goes, I think they definitely want to bring them back. And I think like the only reason, obviously, that they weren't is because of those technical limitations. So if they can overcome those, then I, I see no reason why they wouldn't want to try because there's nothing stopping them. Because like with with Wii U and 3DS, they were trying to create this concurrency between the two versions where all of the characters would be the same. So to include, I mean, obviously, if 8-player Smash wasn't a thing, then to include Ice Climbers on the Wii U version but not the 3DS version would be unacceptable according to those terms. But with the Switch version, I'm assuming they would want to have this as a selling point for the new consoles. So obviously making it a step above Wii U and 3DS is is an important thing. So... It would, would it make sense for them to do it? I think so, yes. But it, again, it, it boils down to, is 8-player Smash a thing? And if so, can they still do Ice Climbers with all of that craziness going on? So yeah, I agree. Yeah, with 8-player uh, Smash um, for the bones, uh, some characters actually have less... They have different models with for 8-player Smash. Like the Wii Fit Trainer has less thumb bones because they just couldn't make it work. Yeah, I actually did not know that. I learned <laughs> so yeah, today. Um, if you do, uh, if you win with a Wii Fit Trainer, you can see the thumbs up pose is a little different for eight player Smash versus normal Smash. Yeah, it doesn't go up as much. Huh. Yeah, it, it looks awful. It's like a half ass <laughs> thumb. <laughs> like, eh, you tried. <laughs> I'll have to pay attention to that next time I play eight player. See yeah. how silly it looks, and then laugh, <laughs> yeah. and no one will know why I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> with um, with eight player Smash, there's a lot of limitations on the system. Mm -hmm. uh, there's less items. There's uh, a lot of stage changes. For example, the Wii Fit Studio doesn't have the mirror. Uh, Luigi's Mansion doesn't break. Uh, I believe with the I believe is Mario Kart an eight player Smash um. stage. One of them might be, but if, it, if I, I think the brawl one is, but it doesn't have yeah, shy guys don't appear. Yeah, so we already know that there had to be a lot of changes made for 8-player Smash. On the other hand, the Switch is going to be a lot more powerful than the Wii U. I believe the current rumor is 8 gigabytes of RAM? Yeah, is that correct? yeah that's current. And then, really? hmm. Yeah, and then um, the Wii U is, I believe, 2. Yep, but 1 was always allocated to like OS stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. And there's, I mean, you have to think that some of this RAM might very well be going to having the system uh, work at a constant mm -hmm. rate on the go all the time and work doing OS stuff, and which might require more depending on how uh, more advanced their OS is this time. 
and stuff yeah. like that. But it's still, from two to eight is quite a big jump. Yes. So, um, even if with just that, they might be able to handle it. Um, also, the main issue with um, eight player Smash is the fact that they have to keep the ports open, like listening to controller input. Yeah. Um, so, that might be more doable with eight gigabytes of RAM. Yeah. Well, I think there's um one other thing that might go against the ice climbers appearing, and it's not something I've seen many people bringing up when thinking about Smash for Switch. But when they did the port from Hyrule Warriors to Hyrule Warriors Legends, and they added new characters, they made it so that people who had the previous version didn't miss out and could download the characters that were added in new. And if they're thinking that, say, say this isn't just an upgrade, but this is like, um, like what Omni said earlier about the Wii U and the 3DS having, like that that similar content to make sure no one left out. If Smash for Switch is instead of being a just a port and an enhanced pump, it's like a third pillar. Then that might that might imply that any characters that do get added may be added as DLC for the other two versions as well. And if that is the case, then the 3DS would once again limit the Ice Climbers' chance of appearing. I think that would sort of go against, like, making it something that people would want to buy a Switch for, because if you're creating content and sort of back, uh, like, retrofitting it to the older versions, then that's less incentive to buy the system, so I feel like they wouldn't want to do that. But well, the thing with that is it would it would just be characters, just like how it was in, um, in the other, in, well, I guess Horror World right. is my example. So, uh, the, sm- the, way, the only reason that thing that makes me think that they won't do that is they'd have to find something specific about the Switch. Because 3DS was the personal version of Smash, and the Wii U one was the big multiplayer stadium version. So what makes Switch different enough that it's not either of these, and deserves to be a right. third pillar? And that's something I can't quite think of right now. I know there's, Nintendo are saying there's more to the Switch than we know, so maybe there's right. some kind of special crazy feature that makes it neither of these things. But I, I, I just wanted to bring up that point, because if that is the case, then, um, yeah, it, it would be limiting the character choices, which would be limiting the Ice Climbers again. With um, a theoretical Smash for Switch, I think a lot of people are anticipating that, that it would replace uh, Smash for Wii U. Yeah, I think that's the most likely. I mean, it could replace both of them, seeing as the Switch is portable. Yes. But. So, uh, if it just replaces Smash for Wii U, and then it had the same roster as Smash for 3DS... That. I could see that, but um, with Hyrule Warriors, it was the Wii U and the 3DS are still alive when those games came out, mm. so it made sense to kind of have the same roster on both versions, or to at least make them available. Yeah, yeah, because both of those devices existed, like coexisted at the same time. So with Switch, it might be a case where it's, it just exists on its own pillar because it's neither a handheld nor a home console. That's true. But that could also make it a third... I mean, that, they're clearly yeah. not going to support the Wii U anymore, even if they keep yeah. wanting to be like, no, no, we are. It's, it's, yeah, Switch is they seem to be more. They seem to be more determined to support the 3DS ongoing. Yeah. The Wii U, <laughs> yeah. So. But, yeah, no, that's just... Because other, otherwise, I mean... I can't see any reason why the Ice Climbers wouldn't be the first choice to be added back in. Yeah. So and one positive thing for the Ice Climbers is that they can port the data from Brawl. Oh yeah, that's true. It's also positive for Wolf. Yes. And Squirtle and Ivysaur. A... <laughs> yeah, and that's I mean, a already... discussion for. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, they already started that work porting that stuff from Brawl with the beginning of the development for Wii U. So mm. yes. they already have a, yeah a little bit of progress there. So. Yeah. yeah, at least the data is transferable, because that's why I believe Lucas was chosen, okay. is because it was such an easy development for them, and it made sense to release those easy developed characters first, Yeah, like Lucas and Roy, oh. because they had data that they could use. Yeah, but I can't think of anything else to add for the Ice Climbers. I think they're... I don't think if... I mean, when they do reveal Smash for Switch, I don't think the Ice Climbers are going to be one of the first choices. I think it's more likely to be, um... The Inklings will probably be... Yeah. Or, like, a new... There'll be a new character, I should say. 
But I think the Ice Climbers would be a very close second reveal. Yeah, with um, with E3 trailers, I think they have a record of showing four characters. Three or four characters it's per trailer. It's been three new characters per trailer. And then, I mean, yeah. they, they hinted at Dark Pit in yes. one of them. But yeah. But that, that trailer might have been made when he was only an alt. Yeah, potentially, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Artsy, do you have anything that you'd like to add? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I think if it was Inkling, and and then another character in any any sort of reveal, then I think it would be Ice Climber second. So, yeah, it's, uh, seems likely. Okay. Um. So, where can people find you, Artsy? Uh, they can find me on Twitter at Artsy Omni, on YouTube at Artsy Omni, or on Smashified. So, check out any of those places. Okay, and Nintendo? I mean, um, Twitter. <laughs> Source Gaming. <laughs> uh, just keep sticking, just, just subscribe to All Source Gaming and uh, just keep st- uh, sticking to that channel and making sure you watch every vi- all the videos. I'm sure you'll come across me a plenty. Alright, and you can follow me. Um, I'm Bush Dustin on Twitter. You can also follow, uh, subscribe to this channel to stay updated with more discussions and commentary on Smash and a theoretical Smash for Switch port. The footage that you saw in this video was graciously provided by Relax Lax. Please go ahead and check out his channel, the link will be in the description below.